I'll do 1015 on Monday, August 1st. Carly, are you gonna go to the vet? Do you have ear mites? Good morning, today is Tuesday, June 28th, and it's gonna be my first day at a new job. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah, I'm a PhD student at Indiana University. I study English, rec comp, um, and I'm really into digital stuff, social media, I obviously make vlogs on YouTube, and so I got a part-time job as a social media sort of content creator, social media organizer for um, a company within IU. And I start work this week. So I'm very excited for that. Gonna take you guys all along that journey. I'm also very nervous for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready here just in a bit. I washed my hair this morning, so I need to blow dry it, put on some makeup, and then ugh, I'm really struggling with the outfit. I am not sure what level of like formal or casual to go and it stressed me out a little bit. Okay, it's 11.40 now. I'm gonna show you what's in my purse real quick and then I'm going to head out. I'm really nervous about finding this place and parking. Um, and I even had her explain to me on the Zoom orientation how to get there and she's probably like, girl, what's going on? Anyway, one thing about me is I'm horrible with directions and have really bad parking anxiety. Okay, so here's what I have in my purse. Just bringing this big laptop purse. I can put it on my Amazon storefront if it's not there already and link it for you guys. Have some band-aids, have my little wallet, some pens, and here I have AirPods and wired headphones, or yeah, wired headphones. And then I have a charger, a little quad clip, some blue light glasses, some sunglasses, a mask. I'm gonna grab a fresh one though. My laptop, this um, notebook that came in a three pack from Opal House, um, and I love the inside cover. I've been waiting to use this forever, but I feel like I will want a notebook today. And then my rifle paper coat planner, which I showed in my last vlog, and then some Christmas hand sanitizer. And that's what we're bringing today. And I'll throw a granola bar in there. Okay, just got back to my car after four hours. That felt really, really overwhelming. And I'm starting to question what I just got myself into. Um, my head is just like spinning, but I was basically in like a four hour long orientation. So like, I think that's to be expected. I'm just like used to the writing center where we've seen like so few people this summer. So like I basically spent like my four hour shifts not doing much um, and I make more money at the writing center. Um, not much though and yeah this is gonna be a lot to process I feel like I do not have words right now to like be able to vlog I'm also really hungry so I'm going to stop at Pet Spark, get Pirelli's ear mite drops and then go home be a potato for a little while and then supposedly have to work on my dissertation or my prospectus tonight yeah. Okay, it is a lot later now. It's nine o'clock. I, um, on my way home, I stopped at Chipotle and I don't know if it didn't sit right or what, but my stomach has sort of been hurting all day. Um, but it could very well just be anxiety. So I'm going to eat or drink some peppermint tea now. Um, I was going to go on a walk, but I don't know. I was waiting for like Megan to finish up her writing for the night. And then like that took a little bit longer than she thought. And my stomach was just hurting. So I edited a TikTok, um, sort of just like, I don't even know what I did. And I hate when I like spend hours of time and I'm like, what did I just do? So I am going to take a shower, put on a cute little PJ set, set the mood in my office and then write.
because I'm feeling real, real anxious. I did um, move some things around this week. I was supposed to have therapy tomorrow, like right after work, and then our friend comes over on Wednesday night, so I knew I won't get any work done. So I moved my therapy to next week, um, and I was supposed to hang out with a friend on Thursday. Um, but I have my meeting with my advisor Friday morning, so I moved those plans um, so I can work Thursday night as well. So I guess that's something I did. But yeah, let's shower and then get work done. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. I am a showered. I wrote for, I don't know how long I didn't time it, but I feel good about what I did. I feel like I set myself up to really make some progress tomorrow. Um, and I got this cute new PJ set from Marshalls because I went up to Indy yesterday which is crazy that that was yesterday and i love that the shorts are longer it's like this linen material and it also came with this like robe cardigan okay so here is that on it it's like shorter but it has like a little tie at the waist and i think that this is just so cute and fun and pj sets make me super happy that was like one thing that my mom was super like against buying when we were kids. She was like, you just sleep in a big t-shirt. You don't need to spend money on PJs. So now every year for like Christmas and every holiday ever, she like buys those PJ sets and it's really, really cute. But yeah, and I buy them for myself. So anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I have to be at work tomorrow at nine. Um, today felt so long. And we're gonna see if I'm cut out for this corporate girly life because Signs point to no. So I'm actually working with Madame Glam on this portion of the video and they gifted me three colors, two super cute pink shades and one green and of course a base and a top coat. They apply super thick, super opaque. I went through with two coats and of course a base and a top and then I put it under the little mini gel lamp that they gave me after each coat and it really locked the color in there for at least a full week with no chips super super pretty super shiny and i applied some rubbing alcohol after to get all the stickiness off which is how you know that it's high quality and the lamp actually folds up to be super tiny and compact which was really convenient because i was able to put it in my suitcase and bring it to my sister's house in orlando so when i did a touch up on this green color it made it really really easy because i had the lamp with me and here's the green color super bright and fun for summer super cute and I actually have a discount code for you guys that I can put on the screen here. And if you go ahead and follow the link in the description box, it'll automatically apply the coupon code for you guys at checkout. So I highly encourage you guys to check out some at-home gel nail polish from Madame Glam. Happy Wednesday. Here's the outfit. Just keeping it real simple. I have this black mock neck t-shirt. Some new earrings from Laura's Earring Company, which I can put in the description box. She made a lot of summer pieces. And these pants from Target, which I'm loving. They're super, super comfy. And mules from Target. So basically my entire outfit is Target today. Okay, checking back in. It is 1.45. I just ate some leftover Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets that I had stuck in the fridge and I just ate them cold and they slept. Um, I was gonna eat my leftover Chipotle but it just wasn't sounding right. Honestly, I think that's what was hurting my stomach last night. I was nauseous all night. It really, really sucked. And I was nervous this morning so I stuck some Pepto in my bag but I have felt fine for the most part today. Um, I told myself I was going to start working on writing at 2.30, so that gives me like 45 minutes to chill and do something before I try to get into the zone. Work was a lot less chaotic today because um, I was sort of just like sitting at my desk and like just sifting through files and folders and everything just felt a lot like less urgent and you can tell that I've never had like any type of like office job before. I'm just used to academia where everything feels urgent and pressing all the time and like it needs to get done now um there it's sort of like yeah we have a schedule we want to make sure that like these things happen by these dates but for the most part like I talk to 
my coworker. She just like wheeled her chair around and was like, hey. And I was like, oh, what's what's up? And she's like, oh, I just want to say hi. And we just talked for like 20 minutes. So um, yeah, I feel like I was way less anxious today. And that could have been why my stomach was hurting yesterday. Anyway, um, it is nice to clock out and know that like that work is done. And I feel that way with the writing center. That's one thing that sucks about academia is like, I try to set timers for like assignments. Like I'm not gonna work on this writing for more than two hours. But when it's something like my prospectus, I have no idea how long things are gonna take me. Sometimes I can think something's gonna take me only 30 minutes and then it ends up taking me like five hours or vice versa. So I don't know, I hope I'm leaving myself enough time between this evening and tomorrow evening to get some work done. Um, for my meeting on Friday morning with my advisor because he said that I'm one and a half drafts away from sending this to the rest of my committee and pretty much being done with it. So I'm hoping that what I get done this week is the one, not the half draft, but we shall see. going in to work again it's actually already like 11 05 so well into the afternoon I am going with black jeans today I clearly tried on two different pairs of dress pants and then these like linen ones but I got an extra small and they're just like a little tight almost like lengthwise I feel like I should try on a size small before I cut the tag off um, I do really like these jeans from the front, but since they like button up, I feel like they are just like not super flattering from like the profile view because it, it just gets like really puffy. Um, but I've been pretty critical of my body lately, so enough of that. This is a cute enough outfit. Literally, I'm sitting in a cubicle. No one's going to see me. Um, so it's good enough. And for these next 45 minutes, I'm going to try quickly to look back through uh, my prospectus so I can like be thinking about it. Um, so then when I get back from work this afternoon, I can sit down and write. And tonight's probably going to be a really long night of writing because um, my meeting is tomorrow morning. And I need to think of something to bring for lunch today because I will not starve again like I did on Tuesday. Okay, you guys, I dumped out this purse that I haven't used in a while and I was like, okay, I'll bring this because I don't need to bring my computer because I can't use my laptop in there. And I found a brand new pair of headphones, so it corded, but brand new. This really old crusty pair that could probably be tossed. Um, a whole pack of Pepto, some poopery unopened. This was a stocking stuffer. A uh, Sharpie, these brown cool girl sunglasses that I was wondering where they went, some hand lotion. This is like all my Christmas stocking stuff. Some super cash that I'm sure is well expired. This little wallet. I bought a new small yellow one from Target because I didn't think I had one. I just completely forgot I had this. Um, that's how you know I have too much stuff. Okay, I slept at Aldi real quick to get like, I don't know, I feel like they have prepackaged little like lunchbox things. I was gonna go to Starbucks. But Aldi's right next door and it's way cheaper. So I got two of these little things. I got grapes, which I don't love, but I'll eat them. Apples, cheese, crackers. And then this one with celery, carrots, ranch dressing, and cheese. And then 
this was like right next to it and i don't know why it looks so enticing with this pineapple mango probiotic drink i don't know it could be disgusting but the packaging really sucked me in Okay, back from work. I just made a little bagel with cream cheese and I stopped at the pharmacy on the way home to pick up some prescriptions. And I was like, wow, it's kind of popping in here. They were just like, like the pharmacy on campus. There were like a lot of students trying to like do COVID tests. And then Megan told me, she's teaching in the summer right now, that they said they're going online next week because of COVID outbreaks. So when is it gonna be over? I'm so over COVID. But anyway, I'll probably go back to wearing a mask when I'm like out in public just for now because there's like a lot of students and whatnot. Um, and I feel bad because when I was in India, I only wore a mask like half the time on Monday. But like literally I was the only person in the entire wall mall wearing a mask. Um, but Bloomington, there's like a lot of students and I feel like people are going to be traveling for the weekend of the 4th and stuff. Um, but I'm going to chill out for a little bit and... Hopefully I can do a little writing before dinner and then after dinner like really get some done. But if I'm not feeling it before dinner, I'll just wait and then just really do like three hours after dinner. Harper, it's dinner time. Let's give you, let's give you some agency. You could have chicken or turkey. Do you want chicken or do you want turkey? Turkey? Okay, that's gonna be new for you. guys I poured some wine lit this citronella candle I'm on the little front porch gonna hammer out these edits Megan is here sending some emails lesson planning lesson planning our plant is blooming Pirelli is inside there we're gonna get it done I feel it okay it is now 10 o'clock like a little over an hour later came back inside because it's obviously dark outside stood up really felt the vine um but riding is going good i care less than i've ever cared so we'll thank the wine for that okay another update it's 11 p.m i need to take a break so i'm gonna shower and hopefully the momentum doesn't wear off and then i'm gonna come back and continue writing i don't know how late i'm gonna be up but i'm ready for it to be done just sent an email to my advisor and was like here's a draft I need to be done I don't know how much longer I can keep looking at this and it's not even like I'm just going through and like painstakingly changing each word of each sentence it's like not even the writing I don't care about the writing the writing is bad it's like the ideas I'm just trying to make them cohere Tomorrow when I have more energy, I can talk more about this, but I really have to go to bed because I have to wake up in the morning and then talk about this more. Hello, happy Friday. It is already 6 p.m. I didn't really vlog today. I had my meeting with my advisor. Then I went and saw a little matinee saw the elvis movie it was really long um but it was good i think i i'm gonna have to like think about it some more but yeah anyway the meeting with my advisor went really well honestly he told me and i quote you are a stone's throw away from being able to send this to the rest of your committee and that's very exciting um because hopefully the rest of the committee won't have too much constructive feedback, too many revisions that I need to make, and then I can schedule a defense and then be done with this thing. But um, I think it was productive because I had specific questions for him. I mean, they're always productive, but that was useful. That's gonna be something I try and do from now on is like, here's specific questions that I have, here are specific things that I need answered. Um, and he told me he liked the reorganization, he liked the chapter breakdowns. He said it was really looking like a prospectus. And then he also like reminded me of how far I've come, which was really, really nice. 
So ending this week feeling good. It was a long week. I started being a corporate girly and I had to do a lot of writing. Um, and now Megan is out of town and I'm going to spend the rest of this weekend sort of just chilling by myself, relaxing, um, before I get back to work on Monday. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if there's any specific type of content you all would like to see. Um, if not, until next time.